Good afternoon and welcome back to Lunch at the Market for this green St. Patty's Day. I'm a Kelly myself, so I know <coughs> I owe it to my Irish ancestors by marriage to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you all have a, a chance to stop by McDonald's to get a shamrock shake. In our area, they don't serve them. Apparently, there's not enough Irish people in this part of North Carolina, which is a travesty by itself. They seriously thought I was trying to pull a prank when I asked for one last year. Speaking of Ireland and the color green, which <clears throat> the color of your Bank of Ireland stock and the money you're making if you manage to swallow and buy Irish Bank when we told you to. The bank is up another five, uh, just went up more, changed that to six percent today, and may actually cross eight dollars this weekend if the trend keeps up. We have our eye on the twenty dollar level again, and <clears throat> as all this eventually clears up in Europe, Tim, Tim Seymour has insisted of late that Germany especially should be bought and that Europe is not going to implode as we thought in early February. Speaking of other green stocks on this day of all things green, how about waste management? They are both green because they use trash to make energy, but their colors are also green and yellow. We saw them flash by our screen again on Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and they were the first to send their boss under cover on Undercover Boss. After watching both shows for weeks now, we've convinced, we're have convinced that the companies that regular, regularly participate in Extreme, Maker, <coughs> Extreme Makeover Home Edition have a premium similar to that found in the companies from Danny Meyer, Hospitality, and Dex that Jim Cramer has had on the show several times. Think about it. Ford, Sears, Lumber Liquidators, all much, much higher, even higher than your market peers. From Undercover Boss, we are convinced that every company that appears on that show will have a reaction from management that results in a better run company going forward. Look at companies that are on both shows should, have, should prove to be very positive for the company, so we are going to highlight Waste Management, symbol WM, again. It has a 16.91 PE, but the forward PE is only 14.31. The valuations are not the best we've ever recommended. They do have some leverage, but they cash flow $2.3 billion, and they're possibly the most relevant business we can think of. Check out Waste Management and its 3.7% dividend. Finally, we'll give you another speculative name today on this green day, RF Micro Devices, symbol RFD, has a forward PE of only 10.2 and a PEG of 0.65. Now that is what we really like to see when it comes to picking up a value play. It's only levered about 1 to 1.5, so very little concern about their debt loan, and they have about 100 million in levered free cash flow with only 300 million in debt. They just announced that they have made the industry's first photovoltaic cell using high volume 6 inch gallium arsenide machinery. They are given a grant by the U.S. Department of Energy to produce high performance solar cells in commercially viable volumes. Looks like they're on their way and may achieve the goal by 2012. Take a look at this name that is also part of the mobile internet tsunami. Looks like you can be Irish, green, clean, and mobile all in one with this name on our green edition of Lunch at the Market. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Happy St. Patrick's Day.